Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 256 power a plus 256 power a as well plus 16 power a equals to 1. And we are going to check for any extraneous solutions as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to do. Let's focus on this base 256 and 256 could be written as a 16 square. So therefore I'm going to replace this 256 by 16 power 2 and then whole power a plus likewise I'm going to do the same thing 16 power 2 whole power a plus this 16 power a equals to 1. And now let's focus on this 16 power 2 power a. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. So we can multiply these nested exponents. So we can write this thing 16 power 2 times a. And now we apply this uh, power rule once again so this could also be written as 16 power a and then whole power 2 so therefore our equation this could be written as 16 power a and then whole power 2 plus likewise 16 power a whole power 2 plus 16 power a equals to 1 and now we can see that 16 power a, 16 power a and 16 power a is identical. So we can do the substitution. Let me go ahead and call this 16 power a equals to u. So therefore we're going to let suppose that u equals to 16 power a. Then our this equation is going to become u square plus u square plus u equals to 1 and now let's go ahead and move this uh, 1 on the left hand side and combine these uh, like terms so we're going to have a 2u square plus uh, u minus 1 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring so therefore let's go ahead and tweak this 1u u could be written as 2u minus u and now we can see 2u is in common between first these two terms and here negative 1 is in common between these last two terms so let's go ahead and factor out 2u from here so we ended up with u plus 1 here we're going to factor out negative 1 we got u plus 1 equals to 0 and now we can see that u plus 1 and u plus 1 is in common. So therefore we can factor out. So we can say 2u minus 1 times u plus 1 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and separate them. I can write 2u minus 1 equal to 0 or u plus 1 equal to 0. And on this first equation, let's move this negative 1 on the other side becomes 2u equals to positive 1. So u turns out to be 1 over 2. Now let's focus on this equation. So u turns out to be simply negative 1. And since we are running out of the space on the left hand side, so I copy down this uh, u equals to 1 over 2 and u equals to negative 1 right up here as you can see. And now let's focus on u equals to 1 over 2. But then we know that u equals to 16 power a. So therefore we can write uh, this one as uh, 16 power a equals to 1 over 2. And now let's focus on 16 power a. And here I copy down 16 power a. And we can see that 16 could be written as a 2 power 4. And if we apply those power rule of exponent rule, so we are going to multiply these nested exponent. So we got 2 power 4 a. So therefore I'm going to replace this 16 power a by 2 power 
for a equals to on this side right hand side 1 over 2 could be written as 2 power negative 1 and now we can see our bases are same on both sides so therefore we can equate our exponents as well so therefore we can write for a equals to negative 1 a value turns out to be negative 1 over 4 and now let's focus on this other equation u equals to negative 1 but then we know that u equal to 16 power a so that means we are going to get 16 power a equals to negative 1 and we know that this exponential function cannot be equal to negative number so this is impossible so therefore this scenario is rejected and here's our final step let's go ahead and check our solution a equals to negative 1 over 4 let's go ahead and do that one 256 power negative 1 over 4 plus 256 power negative 1 over 4 plus 16 power negative 1 over 4 question mark is it equal to the right hand side 1 and now let's focus on this base 256 and now we can see that 256 is equal to 2 power 8 if we multiply 2 8 times we are going to get 256 so therefore I'm going to replace this 256 by 2 power 8 and power negative 1 over 4 plus likewise 2 power 8 and then power negative 1 over 4 plus and now let's focus on this 16 and here 16 could be written as 2 power 4 so therefore I can write 2 power 4 and then power negative 1 over 4 and in this next step let's go ahead and multiply out these nested exponents so this could be written as 2 power negative 2 now we can see 2 power negative 2 could be written as 1 over 2 power 2 plus likewise 1 over 2 power 2 plus this could be written as 1 over 2 question mark is it equal to 1 and now if we add these fractions on the left hand side I added over here and simplified it turns out to be 1 so therefore left hand side turns out to be 1 and the right hand side is 1 as well so therefore we can see that this indeed is a true statement so therefore we are going to accept this a equals to negative 1 over 4 solution so thus our solution turns out to be a equals to negative 1 over 4 Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.